Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and today I'm here in Isuzu Otis or Isuzu Manila here in Baku. Now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing and finally, we have the D-Max to the channel. If you want to purchase your Isuzu vehicles, please do contact the person listed here in the video and the description section below. In our channel, we start by saying, Shijak! So the meaning of D-MAX, in case you don't know, it means maximum optical density. So you have to read it inverted way. So it has to be like Max D instead of D-MAX, but it would sound weird if it's Max D. So they made it D-MAX. All right, so now you know what's the meaning of Isuzu D-MAX. So this is the 2021 Isuzu D-MAX LSA 4x2. 6-speed automatic transmission with the 3.0-liter Euro 4 engine that does 187 horsepower and 450 Nm meters of torque. It's priced at 1,390,000 pesos SRP. So unlike the one there, this one has halogen lamps also here in the uh, fog lamp as well. Still, we have still, still we have still uh, skid plates. That's weird. <laughs> then instead of having the chrome accents, we have the gray metallic finished accents right there or the fangs. So the fenders look nice as well. It, it's actually too nice looking to actually have them damaged. So like that one didn't have that. But this one has this. <laughs> I wonder why that one doesn't have this, okay? And we have this 18-inch black metallic alloy wheel. Yes, the color is like this. You know, I covered it. You know. So the sizes are 265, 60R18s. And the 18 inches are fantastic for off-roading, okay? And then we have the side mirror with body paint. And I just pray that this is LED side repeater. Uh, we have the step board then door handle color matches the color of the wheel and the fenders that is very interesting now we have roof rails the antenna as you can see this is actually flexing it is flexing the the differential right here you see it is actually it's very tilted and look how much space you have here right now because it is super tilted so that is what it would look like when your d-max is actually flexing forever all right then you have also this sports accents with isuzu right here and all these balloons of course they're not included <laughs> then we have top mount brake light defoggers Isuzu D-Max. The color is actually nice. Uh, what do you like better? The chrome or the black metallic? Please do tell me in the comment section below. We have backup sensors, the camera, and the lights are actually just the same. All right, let's go inside and maybe... Okay, this car is not for us to actually go inside because it's lifted like this. Let me show you what it would look like when your D-Max is actually lifted or tilting or flexing on the nation. This is the exact unit that we can find inside the showroom. So this was my demo unit, right? So as you can see, they are in halogen lamps. Instead of the chrome, it is in metallic gray. 
The handle is also in the same color, matching with the backup camera. And that's the cargo area. Very nicely done. Isuzu D-MAX 3.0 TD with backup sensors. Now, we are more curious of what we can find in this variant right here. So the door panel has plastic, black gloss metallic, silver, power windows with... This is plastic, this is fabric. Compartment, bottle holder, speaker, the step sill. We have fabric type of seat material with white stitching. These are manually adjusted. Fuel and hood release. Oh, there's a compartment here. I love that. And manual adjustment, traction on and off, the air condition. My favorite part is this. This is really nice. And oh, there is also a secret in Isuzu, just like the Fortuner. All right. So for you to climb in, use this grab handle. Okay. So this is what it looks like here in the cabin. So when you turn it off, and you turn it on you know, that's the animation you get all right wow look at all those things whoa <laughs> it also shows the indicator for the seat belts in the second row i love that love that standard mirror there's the compartment the hazard button is here the needles they look very nicely designed 10 inch monitor it also comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Does it come with offline navigation in this variant? No. <laughs> and you have clinometer also for this variant. And this car is actually red. So let us change that right now. Boom. <laughs> Very nice. So if I shake the car, well, it is not changing. It's not changing right now because it's not tilting that much. So that's the reverse camera. And that's the quality. It's really nice. The quality is really nice in fairness. It's very wide as well. Let's turn it off. Isuzu and animation. Boom. <laughs> No-brainer manual type of single climate zone control. I love it. Aux and the 3.0. 3.5 and 12 volt the aux and 3.5 compartment downhill assist so this one is the automatic transmission it's a six speed automatic with manual mode very nice very nice performance uh, that's the glove box we also have a compartment up here and the sun visors no mirror here there's a mirror for the passenger and uh, this is plastic here and the compartment is right there cup holders and the side brick there's more glossy or glittery accents right there as well map lights and sunglass case cabin light and let me show you the rear there you go this plastic metallic right and fabric Bottle holder, the speaker right there. So climb in. You can use this grab handle. I forgot to use it. <laughs> Four kilogram max hook right there. We have pouches here. And this variant also comes with air vents right here. It's so nice. It works, guys. It's so cold. And you also have USB charging port right there. Ah, I love it. This variant also comes with an armrest with cup holders. That's amazing. It also folds 60-40. And also this one folds entirely. And you can find like tools and jack there. And it is also defogged. That's amazing, guys. This one is a good deal, guys. Amazing. So this is the overall exterior look of this Isuzu D-MAX amazing please do contact the person here in the description section below if you want to purchase this one right now
So hi everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and I'm here in Isuzu Manila or Isuzu Otis. So if you want to purchase this one, just contact the person here in the description section below. And I would like to introduce to you to a very good friend here in Isuzu Manila. Hi, my name is Ronnie Painaga from Isuzu Manila. If you want to check uh, my page, you can visit uh, Isuzu Manila Ronnie. Oh, you heard it now. So look for Ronnie here in Isuzu Manila, all right? And now we're gonna test drive this baby, all right? Let's go, Shijak! All right, guys, let us test drive this baby. <laughs> So this is a 3.0 liter engine that does 187 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. So I'm really pushing this baby to its performing level. It's so fast. Are you okay, sir, Ronnie? Because <laughs> uh, he didn't know I'm gonna push it like that, right? <laughs> so this is reality, guys. I'm not kidding. This is fast and this is a diesel engine. It's a turbocharged engine. But it's, the engine noise is so quiet. And I just want to bring these trucks to the off-road. So if Isuzu Philippines, you're listening to me, please, please bring me when you bring these cars to the off-roads because that's what people want to know. Eh? Is it really, really capable? Of course, D-Max is a very famous pickup truck here in the Philippines. Now, we're gonna start from zero. It has a manual mode. Let's start with manual mode. Okay, manual mode, Shijak. Okay. So, what I liked about the manual mode is that we are able to hold on to that gear. Like, it didn't even shift to the second gear. And I like that. I like, uh, if it's a manual mode, let us do the shifting, all right? Don't do it automatically, even though we are not shifting. So that's really nice, okay. So these are very uneven roads and the steering, look at this, I'm driving this like a car. I'm driving this like a car, honestly. It's so fast. Wow, that sensor is so amazing. Like that rider was so far away from me but it's still alarming so fast. So we're in automatic mode. We're going through this wipers. Wow, no vibration. It's not bumpy. It's so soft. Well, those bumpers are not the biggest one. Oh yeah, let me wipe it so you can see. It's raining. It's not raining like crazy, so don't worry. See this? One more time, I show you. Ah, ah. Boom, 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 boom. No vibration at all. Unless like you have your face shield everywhere, you know, it is going to vibrate. But in this condition, no. Very nice. Very, very nice. So what are the contenders? What are the competitors? Of course, we have Hilux. We have the Navara. We have the BT-50. Oh, this is cool. Like they made a lot of holes here so that, you know, they're gonna dig it up again and they're not gonna put it back. Ay nako, it's gonna happen soon. So it's a very good thing. So there are like hundreds of holes here because you know, they make those little holes so that they can dig it up. It is, yes, bouncy. But earlier when I went through the hump, I was doing it like over 60. So there are cars that actually behave better or tuned to that speed so that you'll have more comfort in speed. Uh, so comparing with the feeling I had when I was in big speed or higher speed, this one I can feel more. But it's very natural, all right? This is normal. That's our first round and we are still alive. Saroni, are you okay? Okay, Saroni is still okay. Then that means we are all okay. Are we gonna push it? Yes, because the traffic is stopped. Three, two, one, go. So, wow, the torque is crazy. After the 2000 RPM, the torque just hits it. It shifts like butter. So nice. I love it. I mean, there's no lag. I mean, why? There's no lag. You know, I wish this car had paddle shifters, then we can push it farther to its limit. Woo. I mean, I'm enjoying this experience, guys. The cabin is quiet. The only thing that this D-Max might not have that the Navara has would be the 360 
camera. So this is our last run. The turn radius is very good. Honestly, driving a pickup truck like this, these days they don't feel like pickup trucks. They feel like a car and that's a good thing, really. And the steering, oh yeah, the handle is actually very nice. It's not on the hard, hard side. It's not on the soft, soft side. So it is actually perfect. But if you are a real hardcore off-roader, you might want a harder or a stiffer one. But this is a really good experience, all right? So my test drive was a very happy experience. If you want to purchase this unit, contact Mr. Ronnie here in Isuzu Otis or Manila. Thank you for watching this video. This was Ju from Soju Cars and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true everyone and bye bye.